ask the question. Yes, ma'am. You say we have to replace this floor. Is it because the floor is sinking in, or no. is it because it's not on the right subfloor? It's not done right. I, it, I don't. I don't think it has any underlayment. Underlayment, such as dirt or another layer. You know, a layer of. You have subfloor, and then you have to put another layer on it to install ceramic tile. I don't think it has any underlayment in it. And the way that I can check is between the tile to the carpet. It's too much of the same plane. Yes. I, I never see. use quarter inch. So dirt. if we ripped everything out of here, took the washer and dryer out, ripped up all the floor. If we put in new underlayment to make sure it lasts our lifetime. Yes. Uh, it will bring up the level of the floor. Because I noticed right here, if you look right here, the trim... The trim is that doesn't necessarily have have nothing to do. to do. With oh, okay. So if but we you put can in, tell. move back, ma'am. It's I'm your mom. Not when I'm working. Okay. Okay. See, listen, listen. Okay. Okay. Hold on. So hear that? Okay. Now listen to this. Do you don't tell a difference? Yes, I do. This Why? Is, this isn't stuck. That piece of tile is not stuck. Oh, I, I feel, look, this, I hear look, air. Look, this, I hear air. This one's not stuck. All right. You can hear right, it vibrating. do this one. I hear, is this air under there? This one's not stuck. Is air under there? Well, there's, is air, that why? there's air everywhere in the world. Yes, but it seems there's more air under there. It's because the tile isn't adhered to, to the, the floor. The... And another thing about people doing stupid layouts, you know, it, it used to be maybe 15, 20 years ago that... People picked diagonal because it made a room look bigger. And that's fine. But doing an area like this with all these different door jams and then putting it on a diagonal, whoever installed this wasn't very smart because it just made everything look cut up in this situation. Yeah. You have twice as many cuts everywhere. But the floor is completely hollow. It's not stuck at I all. I think it's only hollow in a couple places. It's though. not. No? It's not stuck. Another way, when people put in underlayment, you know, of course you can put tile over plywood, but you have subfloor that's plywood. Well, what do you think the subfloor is here? It's wood. Subfloor is wood. But what would be better than the wood? Well, you've got to do another layer to, to, to install make it, tile. you got to do two layers. Of course, because if it bends and moves, your tile is going to bend and move and crack. That's what's happening here. So does any tile setter know this? Well, I would hope so. <laughs> okay. Now, my question is, you got to take up all this trim, redo all Just the trim. Just the shoe. Just, what is the shoe? This thing? That is the shoe or quarter round. Okay. Yeah. I know it is a quarter round. Okay. But they make quarter inch Dura Rock. They make quarter inch Dura Rock. They make quarter inch Hardy Backer. You know, you can put plywood. You can put plywood as a subfloor over top, but you have to use special thin set. Well, I think because we have a washer and dryer, if it ever leaked, we should use Dura Rock, shouldn't we? Yes, you should use Dura Rock. The purpose that I always think of using Dura Rock is because they've been setting tile on cement for hundreds of years. So is that a cement board? What's yes, what's the Dura difference Rock between is compressed concrete in a board? It doesn't rock. What's the difference between cement board and Dura Rock? It's the same. Okay. Good. It's just if I say Dura Rock, people don't know what it is. Oh. Cement based board. Well, thank you but for you your But you should expertise. always, when you put in Dura Rock, you know, selling jobs and stuff like that, a lot of people, because the contractor isn't explaining to the homeowner in a way that they understand, you know, people, people don't want to have, they think that they're going to have to step into the bathroom. You don't give up longevity and strength of the bathroom for, for a quarter inch. Thing, a dirt is that why people need marble sills? No, marble sills are old and outdated. That's the transition from the tile to the carpet. Why did my daddy's marble sills always broke before he got to because the job? Because it wasn't installed right. See, oh. they have a Schluter strip here. Yes, I like that. They use that, but it's just not. It's just not in properly. That's why here. Another reason why it's not working is this. Show you. The, this is that's why that broke that's why every grout joint is breaking oh i see that yeah, yeah it's all breaking all of it is it is breaking yeah it may be because they didn't grout good enough or that's right. not the reason grout is not designed nowadays it is because grout has more latex additive in it 
It's crack resistant, stain resistant, mildew resistant compared to grout that was 15 years ago. Um, that's why when they make grout nowadays, it's it can be used for walls and floors in both type of grout joints. The aggregate inside of the grout is, instead of it being sand, I don't know if people see that it, 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 it used to be. It used to be a lot of times when you grouted a floor, it would have shade variations in it. You know, that's why you really need to try to grout everything in a day. You don't grout this room and then come back and do this room because you grouted it two different times, different amount of water in each time. But nowadays uh -huh. the grout doesn't have sand in it. It is, it is Un plastic. Unsanded grout. No, 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 that's a good one. It's got a, it's got a. Old grout, which you can still get at Home Depot and Lowe's. You'll tell the difference. The main thing is you just read the package. Um, old grout is made with sand. Okay. Sand makes the color change. The new grout nowadays is with silicon little balls. So it's all the same little balls in there. The silicon balls are, are, are acting as if it's sand. That way uh, it doesn't change color. It's just the same stuff throughout. That is amazing. The, I didn't the, know out, The grout nowadays, if you look at old grout, it used to be, you could see that it looked real sandy. Yeah. Okay. But and it's, it's because, rough. It's because it, they were using actual real sand in it. But nowadays, the grout is smoother and it lays flatter because of that. 